タタイムPeter Jill Newstein, 8.59 on it. Wednesday morning, and it is time now for a sports report. Boston Red Sox ball today. New Toronto Blue Jays, 94. Sox and the Jays go at it tonight at 7.10 p.m. at Fenway Park. Wheaton Lions win. Men's soccer team will have a game at Wheaton College at Northern against Trinity Panthers at 4 o'clock. Fire Chief, fired for using Rachel Sorcher, Mark Tolan. Football rating is off 11% this year. And what Trainway brings to Cavaliers Championship Pursuit. Peter Chell News Time. 8.59 on this Wednesday morning. And it is time now for Trevor and Treasure the Park. Beep! 
Let's study off on EMT data with a green line experience with Ronald Lee, a disabled trainer. Boylston. Premium, Worcester Line train 510, 7.25 a.m. from Worcester's operate 5 minutes late between Nittick and South Station to train traffic. And otherwise, it's looking good. Okay, I was in Bowie's of New England. Route 6 eastbound side, a little slow around the 610 connector in Providence. Route 610 connector eastbound side, slow between 6 and 95 in Providence. 95 on the northbound side, it is slow between 37 and Walker Downs in downtown Providence. 95 on the southbound side, slow to protect and stretch. 195 westbound side, slow between Seacock and downtown Providence. 95. 195 on the 146 southbound side, slow between 15 and 95 in downtown Providence. 295 on the southbound side, it's slow before Route 7 in Smithfield. 295 on the northbound side, slow at Route 95 in Annabur. 130 eastbound side of Newport Bridges, slow between James Island and Newport. 95 on the southbound side, slow some 152 up in North Adamer. 95 on the northbound side, it is slow from Route 1 in Sharon all the way to Route 120 in Kenton. 45 on the northbound side, slow between 16 and Milford all the way out to Mass Park and Westburg. Mass Park eastbound side, slow between Grafton and Westburg. 24 on the northbound side, it's slow between 27 and Brooklyn on the Route 120 in Kenton. 3 on the northbound side, it's slow between Weymouth and down to the victory split, 120 and back between Kenton and Randolph. Mass Pack East Pantai, so between Route 9 and Framingham, all the way out to the Prude Tunnel and Mass Pack West Pantai. It ain't so between Logan Airport down to South Boston. South Rear Spencer at the North Pantai. It ain't so between Bridgeview out to downtown Boston. 120 more friends back between Kenton and Randolph. 120 at the North Pantai. It ain't so between Route 109 and Westwood Island. Route 90 Mass Pack in Weston. 93 more friends downtown Boston back up Logan Airport. Mass Pack West Pantai, so between Lower Airport down to South Boston, Summit Tunnel, Soil County Tunnel is looking good. Route 1 and South Pantai, so between 16 and River down to 93 in Charlestown. 93 to South Pantai, 8 so between the Lower and Endover and the Hippers Camp between Wilmington all the way to Zakenbridge downtown Boston, and 93 to North Pantai, and it's so it's Stone and Stretch. Route 120 to South Pantai, and it's so between Route 1 and Peabody all the way to Route 20 in Waltham, Route 2 in West Pantai, and also Lex and Stretch. Route 2 in East Pantai, so between 16 and North and Cambridge. 3 on the south and side. It is up between Chelsea and Route 120 in Burlington. 495 on the south and side. It is up to 621. That's an all answer. Route 290 in Marburg. 290 east and side. Lowell's around 495 in Marburg. 495 on the north and side. It is up to Route 2 in Walton. All the way out to Route 119. 495 on the south and side. It is slow from Lawrence all the way out to Chelmsford. 290 east and side. It is open to be a mass break in Auburn on at Route 9 in Worcester. 91 and Bullpen is backed up from Winslow to the downtown Harvard Kick. 84 eastbound side of Lulso, West Harvard to Harvard Kick. 84 eastbound side of Lulso, Waterbury Stretch. 84 westbound side of Lulso, Denver Stretch, Merritt Parkway, westbound side. It is up to Perfield down to Norwalk. 95 minutes southbound side. It is up to Norwalk down to Stemford. And out north. South Portland Spur is slow for the main trip back down to South Park. Portland to 95 minutes southbound side. It is up to Falmouth Spur and all the way to downtown Portland, Maine. But, here's the 89, South Pantai, a little slow after the game with an upstate Vermont. North New England, now we're surprised, all looking good. Beer, Joe News time is... 9.03 on this Wednesday morning, and it is time now for a weather report. And, Maria, Carl Morell, North Port of the North Carolina, out of banks, it's Trump Storm 35 for Florida, up, 72 for the to the west, and... Mass contained with 70 miles an hour and movement off of 5 miles an hour and minutes separate to 970 millibars. Storm surge warnings effect for Uncle Clark Inlet to Cape Hatteras. Torso warnings effect for Morgan Inlet to the North Carolina Virginia border and Albert Bar and Plymouth Coast Sounds. Storm surge warning effect for Cape Lookout to west of Uncle Clark Inlet, north of Cape Hatteras to Duck. Storm surge warning means that there is a danger of life threatening in inundation from reservoir water. Movement inland from the coastline and in the gated locations. There's a live friend situation. Persons located within these areas should take all necessary actions to protect life and property from reservoir water and the potential for of a dangerous condition to probably fall. Evacuation of the number of instructions from local officials at Charleston Water means that Charleston glitches are expected somewhere in the water area. A storm surge watch means that there's a possibility of a life friendly inundation from reservoir water moving inland from the coastline in the NK locations. For storm information for the area, including possible inland watches, warnings means please monitor the product station by a local direct water service forecast office. At 8 a.m., the center of Charleston Boyer 
We are was located right here to three five from part of the north, nine to seventy two way in the west of Maria's. Moving toward the north near five miles right, turn toward the north northeast is expected later today, followed by an acceleration toward the east northeast on Thursday on the forecast track. Maria Center is will begin to move slowly away from the coast of the North Carolina later today and tonight. Max Steam was in there seven miles an hour hour gusts. Some gradually weaken the forecast during the next couple of days. Charleston reports with extra ups of 230 miles an hour from the center. An official weather observer and site near Oregon Inlet, North Carolina, where it's important with sustained wind of 43 miles an hour gusts to 49 miles an hour. The yes, air benefit from such pressure. Then, say, your mailbox is 20 with 88 inches. Charleston reports conditions are expected wind in the warning area for today. Storm surge and combination with a dangerous storm surge in the tide will cause normally dry areas near the coast to be flooded by west waters moving inland from the shoreline. The water is expected to reach the fog. Ice above ground and big surge occurs at the top of high tide. Take a look at the duck, including the sun side of Harbor Banks, two to four inch feet. Surge related flooding depends on the relative time of the surge in the tidal cycle and can vary greatly over the short distance for information for your area. Please see products issued by a local duck with the storage forecast office. Murray has expected to produce a neutral rate commission to less than one inch over the outer banks of North Carolina and the far southeast for Judy Pond, Wednesday night. Large swells during by Murray are affected as much as the east coast of the United States and Atlantic Canada and Bermuda, the Bahamas, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. And this swells are likely to cause life for the surface for curricular conditions. Please consult with your local member office for more information. And Lee, 110 miles high, category 2, so 3.2 to the north, 56.3 to the west. Max. The state was 1 in 10 miles an hour. Movement west northwest at 9 miles an hour. Still an opportunity for a lead to the surface today. There are no close watch reports in effect at 5 a.m. at a certain time. The surface of Hurricane Lee was located to 11 to 3 for 2 to the north, 9 to 56 for 3 to the west. And Lee is moving toward the west northwest near 9 miles an hour. The hurricane is expected to turn north feet westward on Wednesday and north on Thursday. Max same with that near 1 in 10 miles an hour. Gus Lee still could become a major hurricane later today before weekend commences on Thursday. Hurricane force winds exit after the 30 miles an hour from the center of force winds exit after the 6 miles an hour. The estimate of its central pressure is 971 mil bars at 20 to 68 inches. Patchy dense fog may develop up across the region late tonight, and patchy dense fog will visibly do zero times as possible early Thursday morning. Okay, seven day forecast goes like this today. Slight temperature shots after 3 p.m. Punch the sky at 85 degrees and cover may come in and set by the sun bars after the chest patient's wave set. Tonight, extra slight temperature shots before 8 p.m., then a chest shots after 9 p.m. while areas of fog after 10 p.m. Otherwise, class can lower at 69 degrees and not stop with chest patient's 30 percent. New push spots less than 7 inch possible for Thursday at Church Shot May before 7 a.m. Away it's a fog before 9 a.m. was. Class got to be more than Gretchen Clube at 37 degrees and Church Cup will be kept in North Warren. Friday, 8 miles in the morning, Church Pitch is 30% new push spots less than 7 inch possible for Thursday night. Most of the about 46 degrees and North about 7 to 10 miles across the 25 miles an hour for Friday, Sunday, Park Class about 6 inch about 45 degrees and North West about 6 to 8 miles an hour for Saturday, Church Shot before 4 p.m. Put the center of the Park Class about 6 to about 39 degrees and Church Pitch is 30%. Sunday, Sunday, most of the about 6 and about 43 degrees. And for Monday, Sunday, most of the about 71 about 45 degrees. And for Tuesday, Sunday, it's about 71 degrees. And currently in Totten, it's fog and mist at 67 and not in the total cast at 67 and 97%. And that's me for the Peter Channel Water News on the September 27th, 2017 on Wednesday. Peter J. was here to be a good morning, 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 good